there's always something new here at Kinsley and something to make it a challenge every day. This new technology, I really get excited for it. And it really does help our jobs go easier and go much faster. Yep, I love it here. Also, almost always in a Volvo 160. The machine we have on the site there is a EC160E Volvo Tracto with the dig assist and the Trimble on that piece of equipment. What we would use that machine for on that site is there was an MSE wall that was installed and there's a step system that has to be put on grade. A step system which a dozer cannot put in at Volvo Ho with that GPS system has to do that. We also have leachate detection. It's basically a swale system where we use the Trimble system to select center line to dig a swale that's six foot wide, four inches deep. There's several thousand feet of that. We also use it for that anchor trench going around the landfill cell that we're doing. That's a essentially a trench that's three foot wide, three foot deep, has to be dug out to subgrade and then backfilled with clay. The alignment needs to be changed by six inches. So there's six inches of clay along the trench of the wall of which we can use the Trimble system all for that as opposed to just traditional layout. There's a sump area of the cell a low area where all the leachate, the leachate would be the trash juice where it all runs to. It's also an area that is too small for a dozer to grade. We almost always use the 160 ball belt with the Trimble system to grade that out as well. We used to rely on Craig's GPS rover to check grade and he basically have to be there with me or have someone else trained on the rover to be basically check grade as I went. If we were two inches high, two tenths high, I'd have to adjust it without GPS in the, in the track hoe. And then it was very time consuming. And now with the Trimble system, it's a no brainer. It's, it's very efficient time-wise. He doesn't have to be there. As long as we know my machine's set up right, it's very easy to just put stuff on grade and not have to recheck it. The traditional way that we would do it would be to use the rover, I'd have to lay out paint lines, center line, edge of swale, uh, and then you have to run with them and check depth the whole way. Like he said, that completely eliminates that person. So it is literally just the man in the track hub and he can turn his key and within five minutes of letting the machine warm up, he is ready to dig. The traditional way of doing it would you're probably looking at an hour just to kind of get started, set up. I make sure everything's benched in, make sure GPS is good. Even once you're done doing that and you're digging, you still have to dedicate one person to stay with him to check grade the entire time. So the most beneficial thing that it does from a productive standpoint is you remove one guy right off the bat from the situation. So it's just a little bit more money that you can make in that specific process that you're doing. As far as the technology, the Trimble system and the dig assist system, whatever it costs, pays for itself, I would imagine, within the first job that it's on. No, you can't reproduce it with a guy standing there with a pole. We double the swales in a day, pretty much. You know, anchor trenches are doubled, and the guy never has to get out of the truck. So you don't have that hazard of him, you know, in and out of the truck every five minutes moving the truck. Well, the hazard of that is yeah. just the speed of hopping out, hopping back in. Yeah. You would never want to put an extra guy just on the ground. You always use the guy in the truck to be on the ground. Yeah. So it's literally the time that it takes for him to get down, to get back up, to yeah. pick up the rover. And it's really streamlined the whole operation. Because everything for the landfills, you gotta be within a tenth or you're redoing it. There's no rework with it, as long as we're set up correctly. So when we dig a swale and the surveyor comes out to check our swale, he'll actually shoot four different points directly across the swale, one at one top of the swale, two in the bottom, and then one on the other top every 25 feet. So if you're doing 3,000 feet of swale, you probably have over a thousand control points that he's gonna go through there and check. You have to be all great. So you can just envision how long a process that is with one guy standing with a rover checking grade, not necessarily always knowing where those control points are. So if you have the triple system set up and you have the plan, you have the design right on the screen, it's, it's really, really easy to achieve what is very hard for us to achieve before. The swivel is a no-brainer because then you can work your slopes with a flat edge bucket as opposed to having teeth on a bucket. You can't get like the smoothness on the slope. You just can't get it as nice as you can with a swivel. 
in our landfills that we do, everything is surveyed using the Trimble system. The plan is right there. We can put everything on grade exactly how it has to be. It's nice to have the Volvo machines paired with the Trimble. It makes our days less stressful, more productive. We don't see any negative in the pair between Volvo and Trimble. It's nice to work with a company like Volvo and we hope to continue that in the future.